Austin Blade Reviews put out an open tag for the three knives you carry when you're going out in the woods. I'm out in the woods and I'm carrying three knives. One of which is, of course, the Buck 110 in Magna Cut, because why wouldn't you? This is the one knife that I have with me pretty much every time I'm in the woods. It, not necessarily the Magna Cut version, but uh, a Buck 110 of in one form or another. The fixed blade I'm carrying is the uh, Uncle Henry UH or 153 UH Golden Spike, or that's how it started out, anyways. I'm not sure what I'd call it now. I replaced the handle with an elk shed that I had, and uh, I really like it. I'm trying to put it to some hard use. So I can be confident that my handle will uh, be durable enough for a, a hunting trip or an extended uh, outdoor adventure of some kind. Uh, so far, there's been no problems. Um, I did not use any glue or epoxy. It's basically assembled the way it was originally shipped it, with the uh, elk antler being substituted for the staglon grip that wasn't really that comfortable. Um, you do kind of get used to that other grip, um, but this one I think is superior in comfort, um, at least so far in my tests. This is probably, it's definitely a, a pre-94 model. Um, I'm guessing in the 80s sometime. Um, I have an older one that's pro probably from the 70s that I I replaced the handle with uh, some Pacific U that I had. Um, great knife. Um, I really like this blade shape. It's similar to the 105, the Buck 105, uh, which is a knife I really like for taking critters apart. Uh, this one, I think I like the shape even a little better. And I think it does uh, camp chores and food prep a little better than the Buck 105. Great knife. The slip joint I'm using is the Western uh, 742. Uh, this one is, it's a rec recent acquisition. The blade stamp indicates that it was made between 1950 and 1961. The uh, Delrin covers they were first offered in 1961. So I'm guessing this is probably a 1961 vintage knife, which makes it as old as I am, which makes it even a little more fun to carry. It did not come in very good shape. Um, the guy who had it before me used it hard and carried it around in a leather, leather sheath. It was loose in that sheath and uh, it wore down the Delrin it looks good, it actually looks cool. It, it looks very much like bone. The blade had a lot of side to side wobble. It's perfect now. Um, does a little bit of peening as always required. Um, I'd say it's about a four and a half, five on the main blade and the others are six, six and a halves. The steel on these is excellent. I've been able to go weeks without needing to sharpen just to see how far I could push it. And that's with daily use. Um, I use it primarily in food prep, but uh, daily chores as well, cutting up boxes. Some carving too. I, I really like this knife for carving. It's, it's similar, it's slightly bigger than the Case 47 pattern, which I, I really like the Case 47 pattern, but this one's just a little bit bigger and it feels a little bit better in the hand. Super good knife. Um, <laughs> I bid on several of, or made offers on several of them on eBay and, and most of the people took them. So, uh, this knife can be had for under 30 bucks. This one actually only cost me eight bucks with shipping. It was around 20, but, uh, heck of a deal. Mm -hmm.